Hello and welcome. This video covers the important modeling correction at the basement of this 50 floors residential and commercial building with my student that actually designed this structure just as I promised earlier to upload the video. So let us get right into the video. See my screen, right? Yeah, I can see your screen. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, uh, let's get back to the plan of the structure. Just as I said earlier, this column is of no use. So, okay. we have to get rid of this. So, we click on delete right there to so, get it deleted. Okay. So. How do you check? How do you check span? How do you check span of, of the beam? How do you check the span of the beam? Okay, by the time you place your cursor on the beam, you can see the beam details right there. Yes. So with the details, you can see length right there. I'm having fifteen thousand two hundred and fifty-five point seven millimeters, which is equivalent to fifteen meters. Okay. Okay. So, and then the length is much. It has to be divided into uh, two so as to shorten it to avoid unnecessary deflection. Okay. So what we need to do, even this columns is not aligned. So we are supposed to make these columns to align with the beams. Okay. So you have to reinsert this beam, this one. You insert it. Okay, so let's okay. proceed. I want to get rid of this beam at first. Okay, then get rid of this beam as so well. Okay, so I'll be having a column here. So I will use the property of this existing column. Select it, right click, select property. So we just picked at the grid line intersection to place that successfully. Okay, so the same thing applicable we placed in this area because this part is the expansion joint uh, provisions. Okay. So you also get rid of this beam because it is it is fifty meters, all right? So having done that now, so you can now see all of these beams are not even this one is not anchored to the column, rather it's anchored halfway to the beam, which is not it's not nice. So this column that you this orientations, the orientation of this column have to be changed, so as to maintain the orientations of the expansion joint. Okay, columns. So what you need to get right of this as well. Let me just give this column rather. Right this column as well. So it seems you are having look at this short beam. So this kind of beam can give you a kind of error. So these are the things you need to take note of and ensure you get right of so as not to have unnecessary errors. So having all that, this place this provision is also an expansion joint in the in the x direction, right? This place. Yes. So the length of this beam is 7 meters up to this point. So what you could have done in this case, because you have breached the expansion joint here. You have breached it here. Are you hearing me? Yes. Uh, so this expansion joint is supposed to stop here and then proceed this other way around. So look at what you do. Select this columns, right click, click on A property. And then place it here. Okay. And also place it here. Okay, so you can see the 25 millimeter expansion joint is still maintained. Okay? Sure. Meaning this expansion joint that cut across this 
directions is going to stop here. So you have divided this structure into four different structures, bind it together at the foundation. So this is one part, this side is one part of the structure, okay? This is another part of the structure. So all of these parts are separated, but binded at the foundations, okay? So let's use the property of this beam to actually insert this beam and as well as this one. So you, you have to zoom closely to the grid line intersection so you can place it successfully. This is new, okay. new beams crossed over each other. You want to split the new beam. So in this kind of warning, if you click on yes, it's going to create a very tiny beam for you. Okay. So you just click on no, that you wouldn't want to split it. Okay. So this is inserted as a single beam. Let's check the length. This is about 9 meters beam, which is still much. It's pretty much. It's pretty much, at least for a 25 floors, I should be expecting maximum of 5 meters between columns. This we'll put a column of maybe like 400, 600 by 600. At this point, right? Yes. Okay. So, let's get to the modeling tab. Click on the. Okay. So, we have. Yes, 600 by 600. Right. 600 by 600 square column, right? Yeah. I think we have that here. This one is 800 by 800. So, we can't. Oh. Just 800 years, and then the instructions point is supposed to be this one. These are the things we also need to correct. Okay, the instruction is supposed to be at the center, at the center. Okay, but this is not at the center. It is. It is almost one third part of it be inserted. But you can correct this if you get to the property of this column. Okay. You come to this provision. You see the provision where you have. This column section sign. So select the center one. Okay, click on the update right there. It's going to update it. Okay. So you can see it has shifted. It has shifted the columns to the center of the grid lines. Okay, but it is now being against the being against the beams because if you notice, this beam is not actually at the center of the grid lines. This beam, you can see, right? Yes. So you can as well shift it, okay, using the same method, select it, click on the property, and then come to this provision, select it, the center options, and then click on the update. It's going to move the beam to the center of the grid line, like this, you can see? Okay. Okay. So the same thing is applicable to this, take this beam to the center of the grid lines. Update. So you can now see they are now aligned successfully. Yes. So. This same thing is what is going to be applicable to most of this beam. Like this column, you can see it almost out of out of the beam alignment. So, and then this particular one is the same thing. Okay. While it is corrected here. So, in this kind of scenario, it is fine. You allow these beams. It is fine. You allow this beam to maintain the center of gravity of the grid lines. Or, okay. or you can adjust them in such a way that they cut the grid line by almost the side. To do that, like this column now, you want to adjust it the way I'm trying to explain to you. What you not just need to get it selected right click, click on the property, come to these provisions of the alignment, and then you can align this column this way using that this that option. Click on the object now. Check out what happens to this column now. It will be shifted like this, so it's along the grid lines now. You can see. Yes. So having do that, done having done that, you can also. Yes, it's not part of the wall. Then you have to adjust using the eccentricity options here. This E one you are seeing here, that is three hundred. Okay. You can change it to two hundred, and then check it. Click on the update. You see it goes in and align. 
So we proceed to complete this. So if you check these beams, you will notice that these two beams actually being supported by this uh, primary beam. This one. Yes. And so this column that is here, I wouldn't know it is supposed to be placed within within the beams width. Instead of this orientation, the orientation was supposed to be horizontal. So this beam is seven meters. This one is how many meters? This is three meters altogether about eleven meters. Yes. I know that there may be there may be an activity taking place here. Okay. Yes, that was right. Uh, which may which if if it's been tampered, it is going to obstruct space right there. So in that case, what you need to do is remove uh, this beam right there. You have to get rid of this beam. So get it selected and delete right there. Okay, then this beam should be connected. Let's use the property of this beam. Get that selected right click, click on it. Property. We take it from that point up to this point. So no option, so it's not splitting the beams. So right click to get rid of that. So having gotten this, okay. This panel, let's make check. This panel is six meters. This is four meters, four point seven there about. Let's put the secondary beam. Secondary beam here, right? Yes. Okay. So can you use the property of this beam? Close that. Just as I've said earlier, you can now see that with the expansion joint, I've actually separated this structure, which is fine now. Okay, so we proceed to checking some of these beams, like this one right here. You see this one cut across the columns, it's not anchoring to the columns as it's supposed. You get so this is not valid. You need to get rid of the beam and then insert it again. Apart from that, it is having a cantilever symbols here. Which is not also advisable. So we delete that at first. All of these ones are not properly placed. Okay? So you're supposed to. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Like that. Yes. So the anchorage point of this column is this point. Okay. Two degree lines. So not here. That is why by the time you extend this anchorage from this particular point to this point, you will not see this. And you can do that even without deleting this beam. You can do that by selecting the beam in question, right click, hit property. And then you should be able to know which grid line is this and which grid line is this one. Okay? So if you trace it up there to actually know the grid lines, you see this grid line is one. The beam now is anchored to the column at grid lines A115. Alright, so you have to change it to A126. Okay? So what you do you need to do in that case is uh, you come to these provisions where you have A115, okay? You see in the dialog, beam dialog right there, okay? So just select in that provisions. Once you select in that provision, see uh, uh, your pointer has changed to square, all right? Yeah. Now take the square pointer to select the the new grid lines that you needed the beam to be anchored with the okay. column so once you get that selected right there you can see this provision has changed to a126 from a115 all right then just click on the update to move this beam anchorage from this grid line to this grid line which is a126 click on update right there update again give it some time see it has moved and corrected that successfully so click on close now the same thing applicable to this one but as far as this you need to centralize this beam so once it sorry the columns okay once you centralize this column you move the anchorage from this grid lines to this grid line so successfully so 
to centralize the column, select it, right click, get property. And then you can come to this uh, eccentricity. Then used. We can choose to use this one, okay? And then click on update to properly place the column, just like this. You can see. Yes. Then close this dialog, select the beam, you do the same thing we did. So we have known this to be A115, which is this one, okay? Yes. So you select in the provision of A115 because we need to move the anchorage to the next grid line. So select in that provisions, click on the next grid line, okay? Click on the update. The first time, click update the second time. Okay. Update again. Okay, it doesn't seem to respond, but just select update. Okay, it's not responding. The reason is because there is a beam, there's a small beam here. You can see this beam, this beam 1B75. Okay, yes, a very short beam between these grid lines and this grid line. That is what is preventing this one from moving or changing its anchorage uh, position. So you have to select that, remove that small beam right there. So these are the beams that will be giving you some unnecessary errors that if you are not careful, you hardly be able to see it. So select this beam again, right click, click on the property, let's do the same thing again. It's already there, so pick this and let's pick on this. Okay, click on the object. So it's adjusted now, you can see. So we click on close options. Then the beam we deleted, we deleted a beam here. So now we want to insert the beam. For what you need to do, select one of these beams, use its property, click on this point, take it all the way to this point. So as you can see, it is halfway anchored to these columns, but we will still adjust it so that it will fit in the columns for you to do that. Come to these provisions, select this second options update. Okay, it goes this other way around. Select the first options, then update. You can now see the way it is now. Okay, that is fine. All right, so we may progress. This provision still having a small beam in this column. You can see this beam here. So we have to get rid of this beam. And this kind of beam, you will not see it. There is no way you can see it if you are not careful. That is why in modeling, you have to pay close attention to it. Then we now have to correct this anchorage. Select this beam. And this beam has bridged. This beam has bridged the expansion joint. Have you seen it? Yes. So we have to delete this beam up. Because the expansion joint is not supposed to be bridged. And then we are not having these long beams. So this beam now is about 22 or 23 meters. Which is not accepted. It's not acceptable. So you, get, you need to get rid of these beams. Get rid of this as well. Yes, you remove the beam and then there will be columns right there. Okay. So let's proceed to place column right there using these column sections. Place another one right there. So you can see now this column meet together and then bridge the expansion, uh, bridge the expansion joint. But that now is standing. We can make an adjustment. We make an adjustment. Or oh, what happened is delete the first one. After which, use these sections, right click, and take its property for this uh, other one, just like this, okay? So you can see we are still maintaining the 25 millimeters expansion joint, so continue to place that in this other provision. You can place another one right here. And then you have the last one. Okay, so the same thing. Pick this beam. It's property. 
you have one right here. Another one here. And this point. After which, we can use any of the property of this beam. Let's say this one, right click the property. So you can now have to pick, check the anchorage of this beam is here. So you are picking or starting your beam section from the green lines points of anchorage with the columns. So take it all the way to this point. Click right here, it's trying to split. So with this, with this column, with this column that we are putting, will not affect the, the, the residential building or the column I'm putting now. Yes. Uh, the point there is, uh, you know the positions of the residential building, right? Do you know the position of the residential building? Yes. So, just as I've told you earlier, you don't design to your own detriment as a as an engineer. If you don't have if you don't, if you don't have this color, you end up having a beam of length twenty two meters. For what? It's not going to pass design. No? You get. So that residential floor you're talking about. There should be. The beams that we actually hit the floor and columns might be there to receive the load from the beam so these are the things you were supposed to look at it critically in your formation most of the time so these people will just yeah, you are supposed to look at it critically they don't design any yeah architect designs they don't normally care how you manage to maintain the integrity of the structure. They are only to just make it beautiful. So you're looking at it, you have to advise yes. them. Advise them and tell them the right thing that will make this, that will make their design works structurally. So now this is completed. Yes. You see it? Let's remove this column that is close to that. Go, go down a little bit. This one? No, this one, right? Yeah, this one. This one and this one. These two columns, I don't know their functions because, okay, there are still uh, beams that is being split within these provisions. So you have to get tired of these beams. Okay. All these ones, you delete them. You also delete this one. You don't have need for this one. Then get rid right of these columns as well. So if you take this column, you can see where the. This is where the anchorage is so you can centralize it open up the property pick the eccentricity to the center update then can't escape that now you should be able to insert the beam that connects to that to this column successfully, click right there. No, don't split. After which, you can come here and correct the eccentricity. Click on the update. To correct it just like this. Close this first. And then for this one, you can delete it. Let this use its property to re to reinsert this beam, don't split just like that, get rid of that, then 
cannot connect that point and this point. Alright, so we're done with that. The same thing we we'll do to this one. Select this right click the property so as to properly encode it. Alright, so we use this pick that on the object. Okay, let me let me just get let me just get supposed to do this and I just use this one click call the sofa person. So that is it. Alright, so let's take time to go around the structure to see how we can't correct some things. This thing is supposed to be corrected, this one. So to remove this beam, you're having a very tiny beam here. So get rid of this beam, look on it, yes. Okay, options to do that. Okay, so this one too is not aligned, so it's also fine, you align it. Okay, so by then, this beam length is 11 meters, which is not good. So you delete that. Can use any of this property to insert this one. Like this, okay. Let's get this column to the center. In this center update. Okay, it's not moving. We can delete the column and reinsert it. But by then. Let's check some other options. This provision. We cannot have a beam that would connect those two primary beams successfully. Just like this, click on it, close options. This column you placed here. need for the column there. That's how I placed it. There's this, the wall. This beam is this beam is ten meters. It doesn't go upright. No no no. It's basement. It's it's the basement. Okay, basement. Okay. So there's no issue with that. I'll check that later. If you come to this provision you are seeing this, this is not good. Not acceptable up to date those beams. And this other this uh, secondary beam is not supposed to be a cantilever beam, so you delete that off. Okay. You have to extend this beam. So which axis is this axis? You need to thrust it up right here. You have uh, 113 and 114. So you come down, select this beam to extend it to the next anchorage. 113 this one, 15 try here, check this one and click on the update. Update again. Give it some time. To, okay, it's in place. Yeah. Then you now use this to let that correct it successful. For point 18, can 18 do high rise? What? 18, can't you do high rise? Yeah, I can do high rise. Right, can do high rise. It should be slow, okay? It depends on your limit of knowledge in terms of it uses. So, see this bit, see it, this one, yeah? After yes. the slide of this, it's having a very small beam in there, which is not acceptable. Even look at one till to this one. So this one now, the color anchorage is this. This anchoring, this one now is anchoring at this green line. So you have to extend this in such a way that the anchors here or you can delete it first. They use these big properties. 
click that point click this point you have this no option so that it's not going to split the beams so we have that connected successfully we have to continue to check to see the provisions where you can this beam this column is not well placed I know you are trying to follow the architectural design, right? Yes. Let's close up that provision. Alright, deal with this. Love made. Okay, look at this place. There's a trouble here. So, there's a bridge here. So delete the beam that bridge the expansion. We want, to, we, want to, we want to run analysis now. It's not be seen there as a continuum. Yes. All those unnecessary warning and error you will be having like this short short beams you are having in this yeah. place will not be designed. So now can can just delete this once. this property now we have how many good lights here this is what i was saying we are having two lights here so you wouldn't know the one you pick if you pick okay there is even a short, short small small beam this here you can see this one also see this one so these are the things you check it okay so make sure that it's not there so all this and that now the beam is fine so let's right click pick from that column end all the way here to maintain the expansion joint close this let's get the right of this first then you use this property to No option. All right, so I think this is fine now. You keep on checking the columns to make sure you do not have, like here, there's something is happening here. There are small, small beams in this position. So you have to delete them. There's even another one. So these are things that contribute to 500 something errors. Hi there. Hello. Provision, you have to delete this one. It's having some necessary cantilevers that are not supposed to be. So we get rid of that. See, here we are having a beam inside of here, so let's just delete it at once. If you check this beam, it's been cut across here, which is not supposed to be. Okay, we'll work on that. But let's close up this provision. Okay, so what next? Close up this place. I click on this property. Alright, close this up and then over to this provision and move this bit. Also, you need to get this beam off. Now, 
now you can use this property of that big connect properly these two points of the columns okay then you can now connect this now to this screen now proceed to take it to the next screen now this one okay All right, we're done with that. So keep on checking to see if there is any provision. See here, we have smaller beams here. So you have to delete all of that. This one again, delete it. Okay. So keep on checking. We have smaller beams as well, yeah? Yes. So these are the corrections that you must make to start check. To start creating stories. Otherwise, if you didn't... To compound everything. Up, yeah, and then... You will not even know where to start and where the problem is coming from. So once all of this, I believe, they properly arranged now. Okay. So we can be we can be running building check to check if there's air going on. Of course, it's possible. Save this project first. So, Cause that was what I was that was what I was doing as I was working. I was running building check. I was running building check. If there's any error, just note the error, write them down, and correct them. Yeah. But some errors, I know some errors will not reflect. It's like, it's like the building check is programmed to just take note of some errors, maybe like overlapping and close, close range, unnecessary, with like, the likes. Yeah. So... Let's check here the building check right here, get here, and then we come to building check right here. You can start it right. So you can see we have. But these people are supposed to improve on their software. Their software is slow. We have zero error. It depends on how large the structure. No errors. Yeah, zero error. You can see here zero error right here. Okay. So click on the screws, we don't have any error. Yes. Us. So the structure is fine, so you can proceed from here to generate other stories. And then also pay attention to, to make sure that you wouldn't have all those short beams. And then you are great and being very close to each other. It's not also advisable. Okay, I believe everything is fine now. All the corrections have been made. Okay, so you can ask questions based on how far we are. I don't have any question. I'm, I'm, I'm going as fast as, as long as we're moving. Alright, so what will we do? We'll stop here for now so that you can proceed. Okay? Okay. Okay, by then let's correct this place, very important, this one. This is okay. supposed to be connected to this column, so. Now right click and then click on it properties and then come to the eccentricity provisions with this center options and then update. So you can align this, so uh, it has actually aligned this, but you are still having this symbols because the anchorage is not at the point of anchorage of the columns with the grid line so you need to adjust it so that you can delete this beam like this sorry what would delete that beam select it okay and delete so what is happening there select this beam then delete it from there can now use the property of any of these beam to place it okay using the right 
anchorage position so like this all right so get rid of that over here we are having cantilever here it's not fine so we close this up and then back over to the provisions these beams okay this is serving as a cantilever don't delete that that arrangement is not proper Okay, like this. So, so why why are the lift not showing? Why are the shell one not showing? Shell one for the lift not showing. It's not this one. This is the lift shell one, not this one, right? So the lift is this is a small beams in here. Get right of that. Then we will have this point of anchorage is here. So what you need to do, I use any of this. Picked that point. Sorry. This point gets all the way to this point. No, don't split it. It doesn't seem to work. No, don't split it. Okay, so get rid of this since it's not working and delete this bit first. After which, let's try that again. With this, with this point. Okay, the point of anchor is different. That's why it was not working. Okay. The point of anchorage is not on the same grid line. So, all you will do is. Uh, and let's, let's pick from the one at the back. And can do this color first. Let's pick the purple. Then okay. you will now look for a column. There's no column that looks like the one we deleted. So. Let's try this one, property. Let's see it right there. So because there is column, those can't leave is up. You're no longer seeing it. So we can still adjust this column if we want. This uh like, like, like it's better it's better working on twenty one than than eighteen. Like the software. Yes. Anyone that you are very flexible at use. Yes. So connecting this point is not really effective. Because it has many green lines. Not really many green lines. These beams, all these beams anchorage are not being connected to the columns anchorage. So here the columns anchorage are. So it's having these symbols right there. So here is the column anchorage. This point. So why do that other method now? Which one? Of checking the distance, or check the feed light, the number of the feed light, and shift it inside. There's a small beam here, so it deletes it. It's another one too. Okay. So, I'll be sending this back to you. Okay. okay. So, just try and check it again before you generate other stories. Okay. We'll stop here for now.